Hello, I'm Larry Kirkpatrick. I'm the pastor of the Muskegon and Fremont, Michigan Seventh-day Adventist churches. I've been engaged in pastoral ministry since 1994, so I've done a few funerals. We're going to just look at some things that I think will be a help to us in times of crisis, or maybe you have a friend you want to share and help, or maybe that friend is in a time of crisis. Yeah, we're going to look today at Psalm 23. So first of all, Psalm 23, verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So, you know, we are in God's hands, and He is going to provide what we need. Yeah, he knows exactly the time of life we're in. He knows exactly the situation we're in. And He, he will not leave us poor. It says, I will not want. I will not be lacking in what I need. So God is ready to help us. And He'll meet us right where we are. Maybe you haven't been a sturdy person with Him throughout your life up until this time. God knows all about that. He knows all about that. Doesn't mean he doesn't want to do you good today and walk with you today. So be ready. God will do something good for you. In the second verse, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. So God gives us good and God providentially interacts in our lives. He leads me. So God has been leading you. And I want you to know that uh, your loved one, if you have a loved one who's just recently died or a friend who's experienced loss, God knows all about that. He knows about the losses that you or that person's experiencing. He knew about the person who died. He knew right what was going on in their life right up to that last time, and he was there to provide just what they needed. He was available to provide just what they needed uh, for that uh, crazy time. So God is ready. He wants to be with us. Verse 3, he restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. And then it says, he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So God does good for us because of who he is. It's in his nature to do good for us. He wants to do good for us. He wants to help us. He's not up there looking for opportunities to throw darts at us. He is there looking for opportunities to bless. And most of the time, we are so slow, he, he's looking for opportunities to wake us up spiritually because we tend to be needing that. Let's go to the next verse, verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So I cannot not go to my reckoning, but God will go with me. God is ready to go with you and has been with anybody who's died. He's been looking to be with them right up into the time of their greatest crisis. So just be aware of that. God is ready He's, he's right there, ready to go, ready to go with you through whatever you are needing to go through next. And he wants to go through it to help you. He doesn't want to go through it to trip you. He's on your side. So let's look at the fifth verse. The fifth verse says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. And of course what he's saying is there is that you're going to have whatever you need. You'll have more than enough. When we look back at our life and we think of all the times we have done wrong, all the times we've transgressed his law, all the times we've sinned against him, the times we've done evil, and not only done evil, but actually enjoyed doing evil. You know what? God can wipe all that away if we will turn to him with our whole heart. He can give us a, forgive, a full forgiveness, a full pardon, and a full transformation. And a lot of times God does things, does a lot of uh, work, soul work in us very quickly when we're especially in times of crisis. Uh, are we willing to let him? Sometimes people just aren't willing to let him. But if you're willing to let him, God will do a mighty work for you and change your heart and draw you close to him. And he'll give you the strength you need to bear and to go through this experience that you're having right now. If I turn and give my heart to him in full, he will give blessing to me in full. And the sixth verse reads, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So God means to do good for us in the close of our experience. And I can trust him for what comes next. Because remember, this life is, is one thing. There's the time we have in this life, and there's the time in the future on out into eternity. There's two times that we can do good. We'll talk about that, but am I ready for God to do some of the mighty things he's been waiting maybe a lifetime to do for me? Am I ready for that? It's a good idea to let him, let him do it. 
God wants to be with you, and that's why Psalm 23 is such a comfort to so many people, because it, it speaks of God and us walking together through crisis. And right now, maybe some who are watching this are experiencing crisis. I know about it. We've all experienced some crisis. And he will help us to pass through whatever comes next. God is ready to give us the very help we need to be Christian people in these times.